What's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the Brooklyn Beats Relocation Franchise. And today we are getting ready to start this episode with a game against the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields. And the number thing, I, one thing that I want to do is contain a QB scramble. Yes, Madden, of Mason Rudolph. I'm scared. Uh, no, not exactly. We want to contain Justin Fields 100%, and on the defensive side of things, it looks like we might be able to do some short throws, maybe even some deep throws, but I'm going to keep it short with our beats. We know we're not very good. We are going to get into this game, though. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Welcome on in. We do franchise and just about all sports and pretty soon to be just about every sport so i look forward to seeing you around the channel let's jump into this game against the bears i'm excited we are 0 10 and 1 we are looking for our first dub of the season still we're going to be playing the bears the lions and the titans in this episode so again make sure you drop a like on the video please help me out i'm in hell here all right first things first here in this ball game we got a First and 10 for the Bears from our 14. We have got to keep them out of the end zone. And my battery is low. You got to love it. Here we go. Worst battery on PS5 controllers. There's a throw complete. Really thought we might have a chance to win this game today, but Justin Fields playing really well. Third and inches. Come on. We got to stop him. No, it's a touchdown to Allen Robinson. Bears take the early lead. All right, next moment is them again, threatening, knocking down the door here, trying to get a touchdown, and all of my defensive linemen just falling on the ground as Allen Robinson catches another touchdown pass. <sighs> I'm in such pain. All right, and yet again, it is another moment where they are going to score, probably. Here's the throw, and it is complete. Wow, 21 seconds in the half. And an easy throw and an easy grab. That looks like Darnell Mooney for the touchdown. All right, apparently we have a drive worth noting here. Third and three, and Soldier Field is rocking. There we go, Shelton with the first down, stiff arming, knocked out of bounds at the 38. Hey, a first down grab is good. All right, peak. There's the throw, a grab by Milne, but dang, down to the four. It's third and goal now. We need a money play here. Third and goal, we need this touchdown, down 17. Come on. There's the, oh, you know, none of those little hitch routes ever work for me in any football video game. They tend to be a lot of people's favorite routes to run, especially in user games. They never work for me. All right, another third down, this time from Chicago's 36. It's already 31-7. This game is out of reach, but let's go ahead and at least make an attempt here. Big throw and incomplete. Wow, that man just covered two people. All right, apparently we got another third and eight here, another try to put some points on the board. We're just going to go four birds and just chuck it, baby. Because we got nothing to lose. Dax Milne, what a grab. Let's go, Dax. Well, now they clearly want us to run this onside kick. I'll do it to the best of my ability, but no promises here. Yeah, I didn't think so. They usually make the hands team extremely handsy. I don't even know why I accepted to do this moment, to be honest. They want me to do a full drive here with a minute 21 to go down like 21 points. But, you know what, let's play a little football here. Come on, Patterson, do something. Mm, all right, that's, you know, you made moves. You We're going hurry up offense. I didn't really mean to pick slip screen again, so we'll just chuck it. Oh, Shelton, I thought you were gonna get that, man. All right, so we're going verts on third and three. Vert it, baby, vert it. Ooh, that's a very wide open Dax Milne. He has been killing it all season. There it is again, pushed out of bounds. All right, this is the same Dax Milne play that worked earlier. Let's try and do it again because they don't seem to really know how to stop it. In traffic, incomplete. We got a flag, though. DPI? DPI me? 
illegal touching? I I do not believe that he was the first person to touch the football. He he Whoa. They really made this go over Dax Milne's outstretched hands to touch that dude's hands. This game is silly, I gotta say. It's very silly. Alright. Let's go this way about it. We're gonna run it with Peak. Come on, Peak. There you go. Get out of bounds, baby. 20 yard run from Peak makes this possible right here. First and goal. And Milne with a touchdown catch. I knew Dax would be able to get it done. Let's go, Dax. And that is indeed what it is. It is a 14-point loss, 34-20. to Ron Rivera, not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. I thought we would compete a lot better with the Chicago Bears of all teams, but we just didn't. All in all, when you look at it, Justin Fields, 25 of 43 for 259, four touchdowns. Christopher Peake was 26 of 39 for 321, three touchdowns, but the two interceptions. He hasn't taken care of the football all year, and it's really killed. He did run for 20 yards, though. Brian Crawford, 13 for 46, three and a half a carry. Not horrible, but not great. Dax Milne was the offensive MVP, eight catches, 168, three touchdowns. Allen Robinson had 91 and three scores himself. Darnell Mooney, 17 yards, one touchdown. Frank Burley sucks. He gives up so many sacks. Trevor Fuller had 15 tackles on the day. A lot of sacks for the Bears defense. Jalen Johnson and Avery Williamson had interceptions for the Bears defense. And nothing else to really write home about. Just got absolutely obliterated at Soldier Field, guys. Week 13 scores Atlanta over Tampa, Tennessee over the Giants, so the Giants do lose. The Jets over the Dolphins, the Colts over the Vikings, Denver beats up on Houston, Carolina kills Cincinnati. Of course, we got beat pretty bad. Packers double up New England, Vegas with a tight one against the Chargers, Pittsburgh over New Orleans by a touchdown, Arizona over San Fran by a touchdown, Dallas gets a field goal win over Philly, Kansas City beats up Seattle, and Baltimore and Buffalo, Baltimore winning in a shootout on Thursday Night Football. We do always look at our awards. Justin Fields, of course, against us, gets Offensive Player of the Week in the NFC. Bobby Wagner on defense. Uh, in the AFC, it was Lamar Jackson on offense and Rayshon Evans on defense. So as we already know, we will be playing the Detroit Lions this week. They say watch out for DeAndre Swift. I mean, I tend to agree, but Jared Goff with the medium pass has been apparently effective according to those numbers so we'll definitely keep an eye on that and apparently we've been really effective throwing it deep so you know what let's go out and let's beat Malik Hooker and these Lions all right guys and who would have guessed it our first moment comes while we're on defense and the Lions are looking to score as they're wearing their Thanksgiving uniforms is it Thanksgiving week I don't know, but DeAndre Swift is giving thanks for a free touchdown that he just picked up. Yeah, they were going to run a fake punt there. I took a timeout, and now they're actually going to run a play. So we may have a chance to actually stop them. Nope. Instead, DeAndre Swift is wide open, and he will stiff arm a dude down to the five. All right, third and goal. This is the big one. We need to make this stop. Really cannot allow the touchdown here. Ooh, that was nearly intercepted. Come on, Hoffman. Okay, now we face a third and one. Come on, we need the first. That's an easy first down up the middle to DeAndre Shelton. They did not even care to cover this man. I will take it. I don't know why my dumbass is taking so many chances here, but let's uh let's throw one up to Bates, right? Here we go. Bates. Make a play, baby. Nope, that's intercepted. And we got a flag on the play. I bet you it's holding against us because everything's been going against us this entire series, to be completely honest. Oh, we got a roughing the passer call. There's Fitzpatrick on the slant. Touchdown, that'll work. That'll make up for Bates' dumb drop. First and goal, 16 seconds left in the half. They're looking to score, and they got Hawkinson wide open in the back of the end zone. 
Oh no, that is not where I wanted that ball at all, but I guess I threw it way too late. I'll, I'll take the blame on that one. The old man's where you can place footballs, but now we're in a situation where we're likely giving up more points. Oh, we got it. Let's go, Stevens. Jacoby. Oh, I don't know how Jared Goof caught you, but we'll take it, Jacoby. Good job. It gave us a TD in the sim, and now we got to make a third down stop. I don't know that we're going to. Oh, yes. Come on, Hall. Michael Hall, and he's going to take this out of the end zone. And that big boy came out and got him. Okay, we only got to the 19, but you know what? We'll take the football, that's for sure. All right, fourth and 10. Here we go. Quickening it up a little bit. Deep. Oh, I was going to say, did Dax come up with it again? No, he didn't. All right, so Ron Rivera, again disappointed. He's likely going to get an angerism from this season, and it's 31-14. Lions kick our ass. If we're getting our ass kicked by the Lions, I just don't have much hope. Jared Goff, 25 of 36 for 252. Three touchdowns, three interceptions. A very Jared Goff type of game. Christopher Peak, though, 14 of 38 for 150. Two touchdowns, four interceptions. Not exactly what we need to see from him. We need better. As far as running, DeAndre Swift had 77 yards, but he had a ton of carries to do it. He did score a touchdown, though. Crawford was only able to get 10 carries because we had to throw so much in this one. 51 yards, not a bad percentage for him, or average, that is. DeAndre Swift had 75 receiving yards and a touchdown. Of course, he had a couple of big catches that kind of skewed that off. Quintez Cephas had a good game. Demarcus Shelton was our best receiver today. Des Fitzpatrick wasn't all that bad. On defense, we had a sack from Alec Atkinson. I'll take it. Two interceptions for Jacoby Stevens and one for Michael Hall. Those were good moments on defense, of course. We had a forced fumble for Trevor Fuller. There was a block kick by Daniel Mentor. I guess that was on that extra point that Detroit missed. Rest of the scores for week number 14. The Ravens win a shootout over the Cowboys. Falcons win a close one over the rival Panthers. Patriots get a win over the Bengals. Of course, we got killed. Eagles look like they won an overtime over the Packers. Cleveland destroys Tennessee, which is who we play this week. Kansas City over Vegas in a divisional battle. New Orleans in a very tight shootout over San Francisco. The Rams get a big blowout over the rival Seahawks. Jets get a close one over the Vikings. Broncos looks like they won an overtime over the Colts. Tampa Bay Buccaneers get a close one over the Cardinals. Steelers beat the Bills pretty bad. That tends to be what they do. And then the Giants get a touchdown win over Jacksonville. Jalen Hurts wins Offensive Player of the Week in the NFC. On defense, though, it's Jacoby Stevens with his couple of interceptions. Cameron Sutton and Lamar Jackson win their awards in the AFC. Now, before we get into game planning for Tennessee, we got a breakout player here, and it looks like it is going to be Jacoby Stevens, which makes a lot of sense with the game he just had so if we can hold the titans to less than 200 yards or get him two or more interceptions force fumbles tfls or sacks then he will increase his dev trait which will be nice because we haven't had anybody do that yet but in order to do that we're gonna have to have a good game against a team like this we are going to want to contain derrick henry in this game that is of course the thing that everybody needs to do when they play the Titans, but let's keep trying to throw it deep here against them. It doesn't look like they're the greatest back there, and we've got a pretty good passer rating deep. It's way better than medium. I know our boy Peak likes to throw a lot of picks in medium. All right, the last chance this particular episode to make sure that we don't go throughout the entire season without a single win. Let's see if we can make a play here. That's a big ask, and Milton comes down with it. Accurate pass from Peak, and now we got second and goal. He's gonna roll again. We're gonna take off. Peak to the end zone. Touchdown, baby. We take a lead. Let's go. We held him. Now we have our own third down, a third and two. We're gonna give this to Crawford. We're gonna trust that he can do it. And he will. 
Crawford, first down and more, baby. Let's go. Apparently something went horribly wrong because now they have the ball. And a blitz does not help the case. That's going to be a touchdown. Dang it. Tennessee now has the lead. We're inside a minute to go here in this half. I got this crazy play running. We're going to try to find somebody open in the end zone. Come on, baby. Somebody get open. No, why does the ball always go not where I want it on a crossing route? That's why he has such horrible stats medium. It never goes where I want it to go. Thankfully, the Titans did not end up scoring, and it's still 10-7. We're into the third now. Third down. I ran right into that. That's totally my fault. I went to roll out right into Justin Simmons. It's another third down. They're giving us another shot here. Third and five. Come on. Oh, I got a man. I got a man. Let's go. Levi Chambers. Levi Chambers in front of Hooker. He'll break a tackle and he will score. Levi Chambers out of nowhere. We will take the TD and give us our lead back, Titans. All right, here we go. Third and nine from the Titan 30. We're looking to pick up some more points. Dax Milne drops the ball. You can't do that. You just can't. Still a big field goal try here to take the outright seven-point lead. That might be a miss. That's a bad kick. This man's got horrid kick accuracy. Let's take another look. Just so bad. Rodgers, I need a new kicker. Anybody want to create a kicker? <laughs> well, now Tennessee driving to take the lead, and we deserve every second of it. We're completely blowing this game. We had multiple chances, and look at that. Big play. A.J. Brown and Julio Jones or whatever's going on right now. There's a big play right there for Gary. That's not the guy I expected to see there. Where's uh, Derrick Henry? We're still here with an opportunity to get a lead back. And that was a really bad throw. I had nothing to do with that, I promise. They want us to kick the field goal with Rodgers, but I simply do not trust him. I just don't. Let's go, Gary. Let's go, Deshaun Gary to the 12 and a first. All right, first and 10. Let's go. Come on. We need a big play here. We're going to roll it. Come on, block for me, block for me, block for me, baby. Let's go, Christopher Peak, running it in himself, getting some blocking from the receiver, Dax Milne. All right, they're giving us an entire drive, it looks like. We did give up the field goal there after stopping him on third down, so we're still up a point. We just got to waste some time and do some good things offensively. Second and five. We're going to run it again, of course. That's a good run. That's a first. All right, first and ten. Two minutes about to go in the game. We're actually throwing a football here. Boom, and a mid-throw works for Fitzpatrick. That third and one to be exact. Titans took their second timeout. They do have one remaining. We're going to run it, and we're going to get it. Let's go, Crawford. Titans will take their final timeout, but we should be able to pick up our first dub of the season. We should be able to pick up our first dub of the year right here with a run from Crawford. And this should honestly be the last play of the game. And he falls, and that should do it right there. There we go. Kicking with no time on the clock. We add another three points just for a good measure. Run it up a little bit. Give us the four-point win. We deserve that much. But we get our first win of the year. We will not have a zero in the win column. Finally. Oh, my God. Goodness, what a game this was. Looking at the end of stats, neither quarterback played well. Tannehill was 16 to 33 for 209 and a touchdown, while Peak was 21 to 41 for 249, a touchdown and two interceptions. Crawford ran for 77. Peak also ran for 33 and two touchdowns. He was big there. Clint Gray, a rookie on their team, ran for 58 and a touchdown. I don't know what happened to Derrick Henry. I guess he didn't play today. Levi Chambers was the big time player, 122 and a score for him. Just a great little coming out party for him. So they were Derrick Henry list. So maybe the win's a little bit less legitimate, but you know what? We're not going to complain. We got a sack from Damian Barnes. 
They had a couple of picks. Even Hooker was able to get one, even though he gave up a big play to uh, back up tight end and leave uh, Chambers. But we're going to just take it, and we're going to be happy with it. So with a big win for us, the rest of the Week 15 matchups were as follows. Cardinals get a win over the Eagles. Jacksonville looks like they won in overtime over Indianapolis. Miami gets a big win over Detroit. Houston with a win over the Jets. Dallas beats up on the Giants. Saints beat up on the Chiefs. Steelers barely escapes with a win at home over the Pats. Falcons by 7 over Denver. Cleveland by 35 over the rival Bengals in state. 31-20, Raiders over Rams. Packers get a 24-point win over the Bills. Panthers get a 28-point win over the Chargers. A few blowouts here. 18-point win for the Bears over the Seahawks. Ravens with a 10-point win over the Bucks. And on Thursday Night Football, Niners 28, Vikings 7. The weekly awards, Dak Prescott and Darnell Savage get them for the NFC. And for the AFC, it is Trevor Lawrence and Trayvon Morig with three interceptions. Wow. If the playoffs started today, it would be the Titans as the two seed. And that's their one win for us on the season. They would be taking on the Broncos. Chiefs would take on the Steelers and the Jets would take on the Ravens while the Browns would get a bye. In the NFC, it would be the 49ers visiting the Dallas Cowboys, the Lions visiting the the Chicago Bears and the Packers visiting the LA Rams with the Bucks, of course, getting a bye. As for us, here we are sitting at 112 and 1, probably the weirdest record I've ever had in a Madden franchise. And you can go back and watch them all. I have a Washington now Washington football team franchise. It was the Washington R words back then. Uh, we also have a Bengals franchise, a Rams franchise. I guarantee you, you will not see a weirder record in a season than one 12 and one. Just so weird. We play the Giants two times in three games in the next episode. So if you guys are excited for that, I really hope we have a better schedule next season. But if you're excited, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise in literally all sports, because that's what we really want to do here. And if you're interested in all sports, you're really going to love it here. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in joining my community, make sure you go check out links to the Discord and the Twitch that is in the description below. Come hang out with us outside of just YouTube and the comments section. I mean, there's a lot more to be had in this FG family community. Come over, come hang out in the Discord, come talk sports all the time, and come over to the Twitch. Come hang out while we play other games, interactive games that you can be a part of. I look forward to seeing you guys around, and if you want to see some more franchise, make sure you click right here to see some more franchise. Take care. Build you.